Okay, as the <laughs> opioid crisis continues to worsen nationwide, our next guest is the CEO of a company that's been at the forefront of combating opioid addiction. It's called Opiate Pharmaceuticals, and it is in the process of developing an FDA-approved vaccine. It's already got a nasal spray out there called Narcan that helps prevent heroin overdoses among addicts, but a vaccine that would prevent people from becoming addicted? Let's hear about this in a Fox Business exclusive to discuss the cutting-edge uh, developments that his company is doing. Dr. Roger Crystal, the CEO. Dr. Crystal, I saw this. I said, there, you're developing a vaccine. How close are you and how would it work? Yes, yeah, so this is a vaccine um, to uh, specifically address heroin addiction. And the way the vaccine works is that it would destroy any heroin that's injected into the body really before it gets the chance to act in the brain's reward center. And unfortunately, also the, the breathing center, which is why people encounter overdoses. I would um, say that this is, this is an early stage program. We're very excited by this. Um, but as a company, in between what you described earlier as the Narcan nasal spray, which is on the market, and we're pleased to see that's saving lives, we have a pipeline of other compounds as well, which treat addictions more broadly. Well, can um, I ask one about opioid? Uh, would this vaccine also not just deal with heroin addiction, but the, the opioid situation that we're seeing right now, whether it is OxyContin or Vicodin or many of these other legal drugs? This vaccine would specifically address heroin, and we see that as a very important part of what's needed to treat opioid addiction overall. We will see that in the same way for other diseases, you need a, a multitude of different types of drugs to treat these conditions. The same applies for opioid addiction. It's a disease. Different people will have different requirements. One of the other products we have in development, it's, we're doing a feasibility assessment on it now, is an opioid antagonist implant that would last six months. And this is really important for patients. As mm. Donald Trump just mentioned, if um, you can keep patients on treatment for longer, they have a much greater likelihood of success. So this would be a six-month treatment for making a single decision on whether to go into medication. You know, it's interesting. We're looking at the states that are worst for opioids, Kentucky, uh, West Virginia. Um, you look at the other ones, Ohio, Rhode Island, uh, West Virginia. It, I, you know, the, you see this, but every state has its issues. I was just hearing that in certain areas of Massachusetts, it is devastating right now. Do you feel that what the president did today will have an immediate impact, or do we have to wait a little bit longer to see some, some real positive moves here? Well, we're very pleased with this initial step, absolutely, to formally declare this a public health emergency. This is very encouraging. Um, it, puts the, uh, the whole nation's mindset in the right direction. And I would then expect that we see more specifics uh, when um, Governor Christie and the Opioid Commission give their recommendations. We were fortunate as a company um, to be um, advising the Opioid Commission last month uh, at the White House, and we would like to see some of the recommendations uh, put into the formal announcement mm -hmm. when he makes that. Um, I think that's going to... Next well, week, we're expecting that to happen. The exciting thing is Opient is, is also, for our business audience, publicly traded, ticker symbol OPNT. And this stock has seen an unbelievable move over just the past year. We can put up the chart. People can see exactly what it has been doing. And I'll tell you something. Look at this. It started to spike in August. Here it is in September. It really jumped. And I believe that as you... Okay, that's... Is that correct? Is that the correct? Uh, yeah, I believe that is correct. So, so, the, ticker so is correct. See... the ticker is correct, but the company says Opnet, not Opiums, but that's okay. Right. Uh, no, that's a that's different. Can we get the correct one up? Um, that was wrong. But uh, I'll tell you something. It is up markedly. And here, President Trump has just pointed out a company that has Endo, which has uh, been asked in an unprecedented move to pull one of its highly addictive drugs off the markets. I think that's incredible. I mean, you are in a great place right now, are you not? Well, absolutely. We, we, we are very excited by the opportunities we have as a company. We are exclusively focused on developing drugs for addiction. We are in no way involving opioids as part of our programs at all. And in fact, the very core focus of our company is opioid antagonists. 
They're drugs that are safe. They've been around for a long time. They block the effects of opioids. And we see great potential not just in opioid use disorder, opioid addiction, but also some of our other programs in alcohol addiction. And in fact, we have a, a program underway in, if you like, food addiction, uh, bulimia nervosa, where patients binge and they have an addictive component towards food. Right. So we see tremendous opportunities as a company, and we're committed to this space. We uh, wish you the best of luck. The stock up 281% over the past 52 weeks. Dr. Roger Crystal, good luck to you.